What's up guys? Today we're gonna do a little upgrading to the living room. First one we're gonna start off with is this guy right here. This is the window. This is the main window. So I've got a pretty big 95 inch window and we're gonna be installing some electric shades. Now these shades were sent to me from Smart Wings. Um, I will leave some links down below in the description if you guys wanna check out their website. But I'm gonna be installing a dual shades we're gonna have one that goes behind the main shade, which is gonna be the blackout shade. And then in front of it, it's gonna be a white shade, which is hopefully is gonna match the white that I have in my living room. So let's go ahead, let's get these things on box. Let's get them installed and see how these things work. When you get the shades, you'll get a separate box with accessories. I've got two other ones, one with the valence, which goes at the top of the window and the roller shade, which will come in its own separate box. I've got the dual shades, so they put both shades in a single box. Everything was well packaged and nothing came damaged. The first thing I did was grab the mounting clip for the valence and screwed it to the underside of the head frame of the window. Once it's in, you can just snap the valence onto it. I had to use three clips for the entire window. Next, I mounted the shade bracket on the inside top corners of the window. Next, grab the shade and turn the outer ring until the center part pops out. Insert the shade starting with the right side lining up the bracket with the notched part on the shade itself. The left side should just slide right into the left side bracket until you hear a click. Now I chose to go with a solar powered option which is super simple to install. All you have to do is unpeel the double sided tape and stick the panel to your window facing outward so that the sunlight can hit it. I put mine near the top behind the shade so that you won't see it. Next, you'll have to plug the cable from the panel into the USB-C cable on the shade motor itself, and you're good to go. And since this is solar powered, you'll never have to worry about recharging the battery. Now the remote I got is the standard handheld remote, which will support up to five different channels or five different shades. The up arrow will raise the shade upwards, while the middle button will stop it. And of course, the bottom button will lower it. If you have more than one shade, the bottom button will cycle through the different channels. On my remote, the second channel controls the back shade, while channel 1 controls the front shade. One nice touch is that once the shade gets near the bottom, it slows down so it doesn't come to an abrupt stop. As far as closing speed, my window is 48 inches in height. The shade sits a few inches lower, and from top to bottom, it takes around 20 seconds to fully lower. And if you couldn't tell, the motor on mine is super quiet. As far as performance, the back shade blocks out about 50% of the light coming in, so if you want to have a little bit of light coming into the room, then this shade is a pretty good option. The front shade will block out 100% of the light coming into the room. Now if you don't want to use the handheld remote, these are smart home compatible. The ones that I have have the Matter compatible motor. By scanning the QR code located on the bottom of the shade in the Google Home app, it will connect automatically. From within the app, you can now open and close the shade or use voice control by saying open or close with the name that you've specified for the shade. The only nitpick that I have, which may be my fault during install, is that the valence doesn't cover the gap between the shade and the top of the window. Either the valence is too small or I messed up the install somehow. Other than that, I've had these in my home for a couple of months now and they've worked flawlessly with no issues. I haven't had to recharge the batteries once and they're perfect for blocking out the light for some daytime movie watching. If you want to upgrade your living room, I think that this is a wonderful upgrade for your windows. So that is the first upgrade that I did to the living room. The second is going to be what I'm sitting in right here. This is from Son Home or Son A Home. I don't know if I'm saying the name correctly or not, but this is the Eames Lounge replica. So if you guys are familiar with this 20th mid-century piece or 20th mid-century chair, this is an icon in the furniture world. If you were to get this piece, this costs something like, I think $7,000 for this particular chair if you wanted to get the real version. But like I said, this is a replica. So this is gonna cost anywhere from like 900 bucks on up depending on which version of this replica chair that you get. But I wanted to get this because, you know, if I'm reviewing speakers, this for me would be the perfect height because there's nothing blocking my ears from getting any kind of audio to reach my ears at all. So I get no kind of a blockage of sound. Obviously it's really comfortable as well. It comes with the ottoman, 
But this is kind of like the main reason why I wanted to get this for the music room or for the living room, because I do think that this is kind of almost the perfect audiophile chair. Now, as far as dimensions wise, this is like, again, because the seat is so low, we're looking at about 31 and a half inches from floor to the top of the backrest or headrest. Depth wise, it's about 36 inches in depth from the front of the seat all the way to the back. This is kind of a compact chair. On the website, they do recommend that it's for people at like 5'8 and under. If you are a taller person, they do make a more premium chair or a more of a higher height chair. So if you are a larger person, you can get a chair that is a bit bigger and a bit taller as well. So this does have, you know, 100% premium leather. So this is real leather. The cushions are PU foam, so it should last a very long time. It is very cushiony. It's cushiony, yet still firm. I don't see this breaking down at any point in time. And you get the same kind of foam padding in the seat itself, as well as the ottoman. And the ottoman is the same height as the, as the bottom of the chair as well. This does have the four star base design for the ottoman. And then for the chair, it has the five star base design. And on the top of each spoke here, this is chrome plated. So it does have a nice little elegant finish to it. And the ottoman does rotate in 360 degrees as well as the chair also rotates in 360 degrees. This does have the same kind of build quality as the original Eames chair. So you can see that this is, this is the black version. You can get this in different colors and different finishes, but this, is still plywood that is shaped exactly the same as the original Eames chair. It's really easy to put together. Basically, it's just the, the base part of the, the ottoman drops onto the base. Same thing for here. The base is separate from the bottom of the seat itself. And then this thing here, this clips onto the back and then you screw in the armrest. So it's a pretty simple installation. And again, this is a very comfortable. I think if you are, you know, somebody, that wants to have just really comfortable seat for your audio file music listening room there's not too many chairs that's going to get better than this the only thing that um you know if you were going to get a chair like this this does not recline so it is kind of locked in this lean back position so if you want to rock back you can't rock back because the backrest does not recline at all so you're kind of just locked in this slightly leaned back position. Again, you know, if you're just gonna listen to music critically, I think this is kind of, for me, the perfect height because this is usually where the tweeters are at, at about like 34, 35 inches from the ground on up. You get a nice level with most speakers that I find. And again, if you guys want to uh, pick up these, this chair, it comes in many different styles and finishes. You know, this is the black version. Premium versions with better leather are also available. This is kind of like the base model. I think this is like $8.99. So if you do want to get a higher end replica of this chair, it's also available online as well. Now, if you guys want to pick up any of the smart shades or the chair or any furniture from the Sun Home website, I will leave links down below in this video's description. Again, thank you, Smart Wings. Thank you, Sun Home, for sending these over for me to review. And if you guys found this video useful, definitely leave a comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video.